Okay, let's uh, go over this tank real quick. Uh, this is what you want to do when you mask it off to send it to the painter. You want to cover this uh, fuel spout real, real well here. I actually didn't mask up high enough. I should have gone past that barb. So I'll go ahead and mask a little higher up than I did. And then you'll notice I just wrapped a bag around the light, uh, the light wires and the connector there. So you want to mask this off really well. Um, try not to get any tape residue too on this when you take it off. because you, you want this to be perfectly clean when you install this on the bike again. And then you'll notice I took the grommet out here, put that in a bag and don't lose it. I'll show you how to put that back in when we get finished. It's hard to get uh, every speck of gas out of these tanks because there's a, a sleeve that goes down inside there. So what I did is I just left a fan uh, blowing on the tank past the opening here and it kind of dried all the gas out. So you may want to do that. I left it actually for about a day and a half. I seemed to get rid of most of that residue in the tank. And then uh, I mask this off for the painter. I like to do that. I, I like to mask everything I can. It keeps the cost down. And also uh, I like to mask things, you know, because I think I figure I can do a little better job than some of these painters. So anyway. Mash that off if you'd like, uh, dry that out, and then uh, we'll continue on. Before you install your tank, uh, make sure that these rubber bumpers are on both sides. That's what they look like. They just go over those pegs. So make sure you both of them are in place. And then uh, you may want to remove this rubber uh, grommet back here. I'm going to remove that set up there so it's flat. And then make sure your connector and your fuel line are here ready to go. Okay, slide the gas tank in place, and then uh, be real careful. Make sure when you slide the fuel line on that it goes all the way on, and that makes kind of a clicking sound if you get it right. If you don't hear it, just make sure you push really hard. Make sure it's all the way forward as far as it can go, because you don't want that to come off. And then you may want to pull it a little bit the other way. Make sure it's on there really well. And then go ahead and do your connector, and then we can lower this tank down. Now go ahead and insert the uh, rubber, rubber sleeve with the metal insert inside. Just go ahead and push that in the hole. And then just lift up the tank and slide that rubber, the rubber um, cushion over the outside of that rubber grommet. And there you have it. Then you go ahead and just set that down. This metal plate is going to go under this uh, square grommet here. We're going to go ahead and put a decal here and, and take this Suzuki emblem off. Now these are just plastic, thin plastic emblems, and they have a, a like a double back foam tape holding them on the motorcycle. And I've read this online, and it, it actually works pretty good. Uh, what you do is you grab uh, some just cheap uh, fishing line. This is monofilament line. It's just 10 pound test. I got it for like 99 cents over at Walmart. So grab one, a little bit of fishing line, just thin fishing line. And what you do is you start it. You can peel the corners up a little bit and then start the line. And just kind of, what you do is you kind of go up and down and just a, like a saw cut. Now, if it's a little bit difficult and it's been on there for a while, especially if it was cold, you may get a, a, a hair blow dryer. You may use a hair blow dryer and just blow it a little bit. I think the warmer that it is, uh, the better it'll come on, easier it'll come off. Now the idea is to get as much of the adhesive off as you can. You want to get as much of that uh, glue off of the, the, the double back tape as you can. You don't want to leave any on the, on the motorcycle if possible. Okay, there you have it. Okay, now you'll notice most of that came off, so go ahead and peel the rest of it off with your finger. You may take your f uh, fingernails, and then uh, I'll show you how to get any uh, remainder of that glue off. There's just a little bit of residue from the uh, adhesive on there, so what I'm going to use is just a cleaner wax. This is McGuire cleaners, uh, Cleaner Wax. I'm going to use that on there. Um, you might try different things. Whatever you do, don't use any solvents or anything that might eat the paint. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and rub that on there. I'll keep working that and then I'll, I'll be back.
Okay, there you have it. Uh, we're going to do two bikes. Uh, we're going to do this. This one is just a basic. We uh, didn't leave. We didn't really take the tank off this. We did just to show you, but this is uh, a bike that we're going to do the uh, just a basic stock tank, and we're going to just do the butt in black. So we're going to do this one, and then I'm going to decide on these side covers where I'm going to paint them or not. So anyway, there you have it. So go ahead and uh, follow the rest of the videos, and we'll uh, finish this bike up and make it look really sharp.